Sarah here from Psalm in the City. We're about to make peach bourbon thyme popsicles. One of my favorite things about coming home to visit my mother in New Jersey is she has this abundant garden, of course, filled with thyme. I can't wait to pick some fresh thyme and then I'm gonna show you how to make these incredible boozy cocktails. Hi, welcome to the kitchen. So now we're going to make those peach thyme bourbon popsicles I was telling you about in the garden. What we have here is about a cup of frozen peaches. You can certainly use fresh, but I chose frozen today. Thyme simple syrup, which I will strain into my new favorite kitchen tool, the Braun Multi-Quick 7. Then for our bourbon, to add that nice booze infused touch, we have Bullet Bourbon, one of my favorites. So what we're going to do first is add in our cup of frozen peaches. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain, because I really don't want those thyme leaves in there. I just wanted the essence of thyme to be in the popsicles. So there we go. And for those of you that want the thyme, that want the thyme simple syrup recipe, it will be on the blog, so be sure to read that before making these popsicles. And then what we're going to do is, oh, I forgot a peach. We're going to add in a third of a cup of bourbon. And remember, alcohol doesn't freeze too well, so that's why you have to add in a third. This will make anywhere between four to six popsicles, depending on how big your popsicle molds are. So, using my brawn, lock that in. Make sure that you press your thumb down and the green butt, the green light goes on. And blend! All right, so now let's check that out. I think I should put that right there for safekeeping. Ooh, that's really nice. Just a little bit of chunks of peaches. Let's taste this. Mmm. Oh, you absolutely get the thyme in there. You get that nice kick of bourbon, and the peaches are just so soft, and with that little bit of a uh, fresh peach. Uh, pulp in there, absolutely to die for. I can't wait to see how these turn out. Now what you wanna do is you wanna fill your popsicle molds about three quarters of the way up. And then you want to put them in the freezer for 45 minutes first before adding in the popsicle topper. 